Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for our 2013 Acura MBX. Our best two options are going to come from Kurt and Takancha. They're both going to be similar in their functions, but there are going to be some differences in them that might make one a little bit better suited for your needs. At first glance, you'll notice that this one here by Kurt does have a fuse. So this one will be fuse protected, where our Takancha is not. It'll just have the internal module protection. The Kurt also has internal module protection, but having that extra fuse is kind of nice, just in case you do have a short, but the module doesn't catch, it won't cause any damage to the component, it'll just open that fuse and you can replace that at any time. Next thing you'll notice is the shape and size of our control modules here. The Kurt is going to be a little bit flatter, but it's quite a bit longer and wider, which makes it a little bit more demanding on its space requirements than the Concha. The other thing that you'll notice here is that the Concha does have potting material that fill it up and that holds all of your components secure. So none of them can vibrate or rattle loose and it also holds out moisture. So it is a little bit sturdier than the module here on Kurt's side. Another thing that separates these modules is their maximum power output. The Kurt can put out three amps on its stop lamp circuits and six amps on its tail lamp circuits. Whereas the Takancha can only put out 2.1 amps on the stop lamp circuits and 4.2 amps on the tail light circuits. So your Kurt's going to be a little bit more high powered. So if you've got more lights and other accessories on your trailer that you need to power, this one might be a better option for you. And lastly, you'll notice that our connector ends are a little bit different. They both have a dust cap, but the one on Takancha is going to be permanently attached and the one on our Kurt's going to be removable. While this isn't too much of a big difference, the one nice thing about this is that while this wiring is designed to live inside the vehicle, if you decide to run it outside, maybe through a grommet, being able to remove that dust cap can make it easier to push it through those holes. So that might make a small difference if you're planning to go that route. And now as far as how they're similar, they're both going to operate in the same manner. They're going to tap into your vehicle through the same connector in your rear fuse panel. They're both going to have four pole flat connectors that are going to give you all the necessary lighting which includes your left turn signal, right turn signal, stop lamps, and tail lamps. They'll both have the dust caps to keep out that dirt and debris. They'll both have a ground wire that'll need to be attached. And they'll both offer short circuit protection on your trailer, so that way it won't cause any damage to your vehicle. And they are both designed to live inside your vehicle here. You'll just keep it stored in the back, and when you're ready to use it, they'll drape it out over the back and plug it into your trailer. And close your lift gate. The lift gate's going to pinch it between the weather stripping. This will hold it in place, but won't cause any damage to the wiring. And now in summary, when it comes to the ease of installation, it's going to go to both of them. They're both going to install the same. When it comes to the maximum power output, we're going to have to give that to the Kurt because the amperage output is about a third higher. And when it comes to maximum protection for your vehicle, we're also going to have to give that to the Kurt because it does have that extra fuse in line to ensure that there's no faults that's going to make it through to your vehicle. And it's also going to protect the module itself so you don't have to worry about the Kurt having an internal malfunction because of a short on your trailer. So for me, when it comes down to it, I like the Kurt. It's got that extra layer of protection, it's got also higher output, so I can put a little bit more on my trailer, get those extra lights on there, whatever I need. And that completes our look at the best wiring options for our Acura MDX.